In this video, we have the integral of cosine of x over sine squared of x minus 5 sine of x minus 6. And we know the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. So we could let u equal to sine of x. Then du would be equal to cosine of x dx. And we're going to transform this integral into one involving the variable u cosine of x dx right here that's going to equal to du so we got du here and then we can replace the sign then by u that's the substitution so in the denominator we'll have u squared minus 5u minus 6 so now we have a a rational expression for the integrand in terms of u so this is going to factor into u minus 6 and u plus 1. So we take the rational expression over here. This is 1 over, we're going to use partial fractions. 1 over u minus 6. And this is a plus 1 here. And over here then we've got 1 over u minus 6, u plus 1. This is a rational expression in lowest terms. And the factors in the bottom here are linear. And neither one repeats. So the setup then would be, this would be say some constant a over u minus 6 plus some other constant b over u plus 1. And then we clear the fractions by multiplying left and the right side of this expression by the lowest common denominator, u minus 6 times u plus 1. On the left side, we're just going to have a 1. On the right side, the u minus 6 will cancel. And this will be a times u plus 1. And this will be plus, and the u plus 1 will cancel. Next one here, so this will be b u minus 6. You can set up a system of equations here to solve for the constants a and b or you can just treat this as an identity and plug in numbers convenient numbers so notice what u is equal to 6 this is question is 0 the b cancels or when u is equal to negative 1 this cancels out so let's do this let's let u let u equal to 6 this goes to 0 then and I get 6 plus 1, here is 7. So this will be 7a. And that should equal 1. You treat this as an identity. You could plug any number you want. As long as you get something that's defined. Divide both sides by 7 here. And that will tell me that the constant a then for this expression is equal to 1 over 7. You got that. Now we can do this then. Let's let u equal to another convenient number would be negative 1 because when u is negative 1, this expression here cancels here. So negative 1 there wipes this out. This goes to 0. And I get on the left side a 1. Negative 1 here, u is equal to negative 1. That negative 1 in minus 6 is a minus 7. That'll be b. Divide both sides by negative 7 here. This cancels out. And I get that b is equal to negative 1 seventh. So remember this expression here then is equal to what I have here. And on the right side then I simply replace the a by 1 seventh and the b by negative 1. So let me rewrite the integral here, then this is going to equal to the integral. a is 1 7th, I'll just put it in the numerator. it would be 1 7th there. And then I've got a u minus 6 in the denominator. I could just make into, I could rewrite this as two integrals, but I'm, I'm going to leave it like this, and this will be a plus here. And then the b would be a negative 1 7th. 
parentheses here. This will be a dx. And then we have u plus 1. Now I could multiply for this expression here. Numerator and denominator by 7. I'd get a 1 on top and parentheses here. And that would be a 7 down here. The same thing on this one. I'm just going to leave it like that. So what I have here is the integral of, you can factor the 1 7th, remember, so let's do it this way. Factor the 1 7th here. And this, of course, should be a du here, not, not, not dx, because we changed the variable. This is du here. So it's the integral then of 1 over u minus 6. Then plenty of those. When you have a linear factor like this, this is just going to be a natural log of absolute u minus 6. Now treat this as another integral here. You can always factor the constant from the integral. So let's say this would be a negative or minus 1 7th. And it's the integral of du over u plus 1. Again, that particular form would just be the natural log of absolute u plus 1 plus the constant of integration so then all we have to do now is just rewrite this in terms of the original variable so here's your u substitution this is the answer really in terms of u but we always go back to the original variable so all we have to do here is replace the u by sine of x so this will be 1 7th just a natural log so replacing the u by sine of x, we get 1 7th absolute value sine of x minus 6, and then it's a minus 1 7th natural log of absolute value u plus 1, and u is sine of x, and we have sine of x plus 1 in the absolute values, and then the constant of integration plus the constant of integration. And that's your answer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.